look, I understand the Umar, Dr. Umar Johnsons and all those other guys out there and you guys keep sending me all this stuff, but to me, I just don't get caught up into that because a lot of these guys, are, they, they like to talk. You know, that's, that's just what it is. And these young boys ain't trying to hear it because you're not really understanding where they come from. I mean, anybody can put a speech together and it sounds perfect. But at the end of it, the same results, they be talking about the minister, Louis Farrakhan. Louis Farrakhan has been making sense for years. What has he said that didn't make sense? And for how many years? But yet, brothers are still in the same situation. Am I right? Even brothers that's in the nation, they be in the same situation. You know, we know them. So I'm like, I know many brothers that was in the nation, know the brothers that came out of the nation. It's the same thing. If you're not looking at the solution to problems and you're just talking about the problems, then you're not going to get anywhere. You're basically the same off as a politician. I mean, it sounds cute with the words and everything else, but if you don't understand the conditions on, you know, where we are right now, we can't be talking about, screw the Mexicans, screw everybody else. It's only for the black man, the black man, the black man. That's 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 fine and dandy, but how you gonna reach the black man? Huh? How you plan on reaching the black man? How you plan on getting jobs for the black man? How you think, how you plan on educating the black man? What books are you telling them to go read? Are you telling them to learn a trade? What are you teaching the black man? That they should learn to be self-sufficient, to live off the land, learn how to grow from the ground, learn how to read certain books of survival, Learn how the importance is of raising your own children and trying to be in your child's life instead of just making babies because that cycle is leaving us more and more crippled. I mean, you have to come up with solutions to these problems. If you don't and you're not coming up with ideas for it to work, then you can't point the finger at somebody and say, well, this they job to come up with it. It's like, what are you doing? It's like the people who sit back and they ain't trying to do nothing. You sit back and smoke weed all day and talking trash about somebody who's out here, you know, trying to make sure the community is doing what they're doing. There's brothers out in the community that's out here trying to get things done. But it's like they're running in a, in a rabbit hole, in a rabbit maze, going around in circles, spinning, spinning their wheels, because they're not going to get the support from the state and the city. And that's what they need. See, if it's government funded, like a lot of these programs that are out here, you see, I know because I've been in both worlds, I see how it works in the area where they have money and they're not afraid to use it because of the, the community. And I've been in the poor area where they don't care. And it's not like I'm going to just turn my back on the area that I grew up in and just say, well, I don't care about them. It's not like that where I live. I'm not that type of person. So I look at a system that's working and look at a system that's not working. Well, what does the system that's not working don't have that this has? It's very easy to look at it. And you say, oh, okay, well, wow. They have a flourishing environment. They have an actual program to for recreational centers. They have places where it's an arcade, roller rinks, kids can go in there and play they have internet cafes they have playgrounds with all different type of gaming and social events they have arts and craft places where you can go there and, and play your arts and crafts they have school programs that have music and art in its schools they have a flourishing nurturing system of education okay you have many other options than to just walk out, get in a gang, and sell drugs. Okay? You have options. In the city, show me where these programmers exist. Show me where one 
exists. You see what I'm saying? So it's really simple to look at. Now, the problem is who's going to be willing to put up this money? Because in target areas, if you don't have these programs and if you don't stop the violence, you're not going to get people to come there and put their business in these areas. And if people don't put their business in the areas, you can't have jobs for these people to work. Out here, these kids get summer jobs at the local uh, movie theater, at the little pizza place. Everyone goes to college, come back, work the little job, out of high school. They all have a job to work. How is this possible? And you know what? Crime is low. Why would crime be low? Because people have jobs. They have things to do. Besides going around committing crimes. This is the things that need to be talked about. Trying to get programs and go to war with people over things you don't even understand does not make sense. You're, you're talking about we got to fight the white man and all this stuff. You have no idea as to what you're talking about because you're fighting a fight that makes no sense right now. You're fighting a, a whole big scale global fight when you're you're suffering <laughs> at the root. The kids, you gotta understand, they're not worried about you. They got you, they want the kids, <laughs> the youth. Long as they keep the youth, they control the world. If your kids can't grow up, go to college and go to school and get a decent job, what what is going to happen? You're going to die out. The youth is what they're looking for. So for you to even assume that they're thinking about you is crazy. And the reason these guys do what they do is because in their eyes and their mind state, it's not realistic that they're ever going to see 22, 23, 24. They got to ball out now. They got to try to make their money now. They, To them, life is hopeless. They don't see themselves ever achieving anything in life. It's a bottomless pit to them. Now, it's great to tell them, man, you know, you, you, you are the chosen one. You the first ones on this planet. I mean, yes, that's inspiring, it's, but at the end of it, they could be kings and gods, but if they ain't got no job, what is that going to do? You know, that's what I'm saying, and most people are just preaching that to them, like, man, y'all kings, y'all god, you can't be killing each other out here. They be like, well, give me an alternative, because I don't want to kill nobody, but they, they come in and kill me, and I'm trying to eat. You got to hear these dudes. You know what I'm saying? Y'all not trying to hear them and trying to preach to them. That's why you don't get nowhere. You got to understand the conditions. So, when you keep trying to judgmentally, you know, point fingers at these people and say they the bad guys, you got to look and say, well, how did they get all these automatic weapons? You know, back in 96, the most somebody had was an AK-47. I mean, and that was, you had to really be doing something to get an AK. Now they got military-grade weapons, like AR-15s. I'm like, how in the world all they, everybody got AR-15s on the streets? Street sweepers, all these tech weapons. How did they get them? You see what I'm saying? That's... That's where I'm at with it. So I don't disagree with none of these people or what they saying. These Dr. Umar Johnsons and everybody else. I listen to them. Y'all keep sending me all this. Like, man, listen to what Brother John. I hear what they saying. I know what they saying. But until they attack the main source of the problem and get funding for these projects, this is where the core is. This is where we all lost. We all agree. People get together and saying, look, let's get these plans in place. Get people to put up money for these plans, period. You know, let's try to get things done. And why, why exclude? It's amazing how every other program in the world, they ask for, they don't just say white people kicking your money. 
They don't say, come on, Latinos, let's all put in our money. They ask everybody. When blacks want something, always the blacks got to put it up. Come on, man, brother, man, you know you got the money. All brothers, we got to come. No, ask the money from everybody, just like everybody else. This is, a, this is an American problem. This ain't just a black problem. Even though black people are dying, there's Mexicans dying too. There's other people dying. Look, this is a, a problem of crime. Crime is a problem. Crime is a problem. Murder, all that stuff. Problem. Lack of jobs. It's a problem. It's a city problem. It's a Chicago problem, not a black problem. So don't just isolate everyone else out and say, come on, brother, we got to do this, brother, we got to do that. No, everybody get involved. When everybody start working together to get involved to solve a problem, then it makes sense. Because you're not going to do it isolating everybody else. Yet and still, every other group don't do that. But us, we want to isolate everything else out and just ask for the black folks, dog. The black folks got to do something. The black athletes got to kick some back. Black athlete, you got to do this. Black movie star, you got to do that. Black man, you black, you got to do that. Ask all the other actors too. They white, they get, they get money from the brothers too. Brothers go watch their movies. It ain't like the brothers don't go watch people because they got white people in it. Blacks like Iron Man and Captain America too. Ask them for money. So... That's what my thoughts is on it. It's your boy Carcino. I'm out. Read more. Learn more.